hey girl hey i'm nessa welcome and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a wash and go on my 4c hair using just one gel and it's going to be this little guy right here from eco slay it is their jello shot curl definer i've heard nothing but great things about this gel and it seems to be the kind of gel that my hair would actually enjoy so i decided why not put it to the test so if you are interested keep on watching but before we get into this do me a favor don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see here on the channel now let's do it all right all right so let's jump right into the video let's get this party started i'm so excited to be using this gel i must tell you and i hope that it is everything that I hope for, okay? Because this gel came highly recommended alongside the Uncle Funky's daughter. When I asked you guys for recommendations on my community tab, I think this was the second one most recommended. Uncle Funky's daughter, I already did a video on that one. It'll be linked for you in the description box if you wanna see the first impression. So, very excited to use that. I watched some reviews as well to see how people were using it. And it seems to be the kind of gel that my hair would actually agree with. So. I am definitely excited to put this to the test and see what it has to offer. Now, there's really no smell to this and this is a clear gel. As far as the consistency, yep, it does feel like a gel consistency, <laughs> which is a good thing I would assume, right? <laughs> anyway, so I am going to, my hair is already prepped. I wash the condition and I also prime my hair with a living conditioner. The living conditioner that I use was the Kinky Curly Knot today. I honestly don't really like this living conditioner and I think I talked about this in a previous video, but I just wanted to finish it up. So I'm going to make sure that I finish it up because this was not a cheap living conditioner to use. I did a test on the both of them before I even decided to use the living conditioner to make sure that they would not clash into each other so as far as what it says here the directions are very simple it says to apply generously to soaked hair dry or diffuse the hair now my hair is not soaked i've washed my hair it's been quite a few minutes already so i do have my spray bottle so i can re-wet my hair i'm not going to be doing this in the shower because Wash and goes in the shower do not work for me. They get me sick. It's not. It's a different story. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that. So let's get this party started. All right. I am going to be working in sections because my hair is getting a lot longer and I feel like sections definitely work best for me now. So I'm going to start with the back section right here and check out what we're working with. And it doesn't say if you should be using big or small sections, by the way. So I'm gonna start with a medium sized section and depending on what it looks like and how it feels, I may go with smaller sections, we shall see. But let's see. I think there should be a good enough section for me to start with. So let's see what we're working with. All right, so I think this is wet enough. I'm going to go ahead and start applying the gel on my hair. And I am starting with this amount right here. It is cold and that's the other thing that you want to keep in mind. It does say to keep it refrigerated. So this is something that you can forget about very easily because I've actually had this gel here for a very long time. And I never thought about using it because it's in the fridge. It's not with my other products. I'm applying a little bit more to it because I'm not really sure what's going on here. All right, so after taking the time working the gel in that big section, I figured it would be a lot easier for me to break that section up and work in smaller sections. And as soon as I did that, the definition started coming through 
a lot more than it was before. So I definitely recommend working in smaller sections if you have kinkier texture, just like I do. When they say apply generously they actually really mean that because the amount that i started using it wasn't enough but as i continued applying more then that is when i am seeing a little bit of action in here so so far so good i kind of like what i'm saying i am going to continue applying this to my hair and also apply more water as well because I feel like it definitely requires a lot of water and also a lot of product. So I'm going to continue doing this and see what we are working with. But this is what we're looking at so far. <laughs> so i am all done applying this gel to my hair and so far i am liking what i'm seeing in the mirror and i don't know if you're seeing what i'm seeing i think the major thing that i really like about this is the shine because a lot of times you get a good hold you get the good definition from a gel at least for me but the shine is not there but if you can see it through the lenses let me know in the comment section this shine is out of control and the other gel that i can compare to it as far as shine is the alike natural lemongrass holded styling gel which i did a first impression on as well on the channel check the description box for the link but definition is here the shine is here i don't know what's going to happen with the hold so i am going to sit under my dryer for a good hour and a half two hours because it does take long for my hair to dry and I will be back on camera either tomorrow or the day after. But at first when I was applying the gel, I wasn't really feeling it. I don't know if you saw it on my face, but I kind of feel like there's a little learning curve with it. So as I kept applying it and I did the other sections off of camera, I kind of felt like it got a little bit easier for me. And I kind of felt like I was doing it a lot better. Some sections of my hair required a lot more water and a lot more gel than other sections. So I think you just kind of have to, you know, play with it and see what to do if you haven't used this gel yet. But I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to dry my hair. And then when I come back, I will give you my final thoughts and let you know if this is a gel that I will keep using in the future. But so far we have two out of four which would be the definition and as well as the shine. All right, all right, so we are back and this is two days later and this is what my hair is looking like and I am loving what I am seeing. I feel like Ecoslay did not come to play with this Jello Shot Gel. I mean, to me, this is just amazing, all right? This is day two hair, today's Thursday. I did my hair on Tuesday. I didn't do anything at all yesterday. I stayed home, but this morning when I woke up, 
I went for a run. And if you don't know, I've said it multiple times, I live in South Florida. It is super hot, very humid. Whatever hairstyle that you do, as soon as you hit the door, you can forget about any kind of definition that you have. That is why I always talk about having a gel with strong hold and I do not mind the crunch because I feel like it just adds to the longevity. I love to have a wash and go that stays for a very long time. At least a week, I need to have at least a week and I feel like this jello shot definitely delivered. Now, if you don't like strong hold gel, if you don't like the crunch, this may not be for you, but if you are anything like me, I think you're gonna love this. I do have a little bit of frizz in the back of my hair, but I think it may have to do with the fact that I was still trying to get used to the ratio of water and um, gel to use because I didn't do it in the shower. I don't plan on doing wash and goes in the shower anymore. I've already explained why. So I was still trying to get used to it. I'm going to keep using this gel. I'm gonna keep playing around with it and figure it out. But overall, my results are amazing. And again, I am here for it. The hold is here, the definition is here. There's no flake whatsoever. And the shine, like the shine is the other thing that got me. So this is what we're looking like. Loving what I'm seeing. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And also share with me what are some of the gels that you love to use on your foisty hair. I may get to try them because this jello shot right here was a recommendation from a few of you and that's how I got to try it. Now, if you have any questions, any comments, let me know in the comment section down below any video suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you want to see more from me in the meantime, I'll have some video suggestions for you on the screen. Be sure to check those out. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today. I will catch you in my next one.